Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com. Today I'm going to show you the best setup for the PowerPoint Quick Access Toolbar for frequently used functions within PowerPoint. And I'll show you how I have it set up as well as examples of why I set it up that way. You don't need to take notes here. I'll actually provide a one-page cheat sheet for you that uh, shows you how I set up the Quick Access Toolbar, um, what the functions are, and it has some other shortcuts there. I'll put those in the screencast notes, and I'll also put them on the homepage, elearningart.com, under the Tools tab. So within PowerPoint, um, you are probably familiar with the ribbon, and I actually have another video on the ribbon, but I think there's a lot of hidden features within PowerPoint that I like that I use frequently and they really help me out and I put those in the quick access toolbar which is a customized toolbar I have I'll have another video for you that shows you actually how to format it but on this one I want to show you what those functions are so basically I divide my quick access toolbar into alignment distribution uh, font control a lot of shapes and then some other things including pulling up windows like the selection and visibility pane. So let me just walk you through uh, exactly what those are and let's say I have these objects that are on my screen here. Um, for alignment, maybe I wanted to align all of these left. Well, I could just select them all and then here align left, boom, that pulls them all there. Well that's great, well maybe I wanted to uh, align them right. Oops, grabbed the wrong thing there. Align them right, same thing, or I could do align middle um, I could do things vertically as well. Let's say that um, I was doing uh, that I wanted to align everything like these, and they're all out of out of whack here, and I wanted to have them all in a straight line. I could either do top or bottom since these are the same size, but I'll do align top, and then I could just pull them down there. Um, distribution is great too. Maybe I wanted to have these equally distributed and I wasn't sure exactly what that would look like. Well I want th my leftmost one to be here, my right one most to be here, and I really want that one in the middle. Well now I can just select all of these and I can just go to distribute evenly, horizontally, and there you go. They're exactly evenly spaced. That's a really useful thing. Okay, uh, so it's alignment and distribution. Um, fonts, I just like to have my font controls to be able to know what the what the color and the size and, and the font is actually going to be. My, my um, uh, then getting into shapes, the format painter is something I use pretty frequently. You can also copy and paste formats if you go to the, the shortcut video I did. I'll show you how to do that. But same thing, object colors, the fill colors, and the line colors. And um, one really nice thing um, with objects is let's say I wanted these to all be the same width. Um, I could actually go into here and I could just scale that up and now I know they're going to be exactly the same width. So if I'm creating an e-learning course, that's a really useful thing. Uh, if I'm dealing with like an icon or I just want them all to be to be perfect and then I would do the same thing. I'd align them there and i distribute them vertically and now there we go. These look really nice. Um, some other useful things in um, with shapes in PowerPoint 2010 they introduced this shape union, shape subtract. I could create a single object out of these, if I click on them both and I go to Shape Union, now I have a single new object. And with basic shapes, you can basically draw anything. Um, and that's pretty cool. So Shape Subtract, and you know, maybe I wanted to um, get a circle cut out there. If I put this on top of there, and then I click on this one, and I do Shape Subtract, ah, there we go. So you can see just with Shape, shape Union and Shape Subtract, um, you can, uh, and the other features, you can actually draw just about anything with basic shapes with adding and subtracting parts of shapes. Uh, that's a really cool thing. So another one that I use frequently is I'm, when I'm creating scenarios. I, this guy, maybe he's facing the wrong direction. Well, I like to have flip horizontal there. Um, and then the two other things, uh, so there's some other things in here with layers pulling forward and back, but actually what I like to have here is the selection and visibility pane, which I have open almost all the time, controls all of my the naming and the layering of my objects, um, that there, and then also uh, just being able to pull up the animation pane as well. These are the two most frequent things I'm doing when I'm, when I'm building e-learning, so uh, I put those, those two things there. Um, I hope you found that useful. Again, I'll put that job aid in the, in the notes for you, a link to it in the notes, as well as on uh, elearningart.com under tools. Uh, it's, a, it's a free download, and you can see how I set up my quick access toolbar. Also, stay tuned for the next video on how to format your toolbar. Thanks so much.